white outrage after an Alabama judge stops a murder trial smack in the middle of the case, tosses out the murder charge, and says to the defendant, you're free to leave, buddy. Dave Watson was accused of murdering his wife of only 11 days while scuba diving in Australia's Great Barrier Reef during their honeymoon. But yesterday, the judge suddenly announced there was not enough evidence and threw out the case before it even got to the jury. Check out the defendant's reaction when the case was dismissed. Plenty of people say that the judge refused to allow in crucial evidence. Uh, take, for example, this reenactment by Australian cops. They went underwater to demonstrate how they believe Gabe Watson disconnected his bride's air supply. Judge would not allow that evidence in. Friends and family of the dead wife, Tina Watson, shocked. There is no appeal in Alabama. This case is over forever. You seem sad like emotionally sad, upset about this. Well, why wouldn't I be? I mean, I mean, Tina lost her life. Why wouldn't I be upset? A prosecutor devastated. You heard him right there. Tina's father also very devastated, speaking right after this case was dismissed by the judge uh, with no warning, uh, accusing the judge of caring more about the accused murderer than his dead daughter. Listen. There's just seems to be a lot more protection for the accused than there does consideration for the victim, which in this case was Tina. Vicki Ziegler, family law attorney, try to get in this judge's head. What on earth was he thinking? I think, Jane, he actually thought that this gentleman, this defendant, was not guilty to begin with. And he made these huge judicial barricades so that the jury could never even get to hear the testimony. I mean, by excluding evidence and saying it's hearsay, we have exceptions to the hearsay rule. That's the whole point. And at the end of the day, the jurors are people, the fact finders. You want to let the jury determine the evidence and, and see, in fact, if this gentleman was guilty or not guilty. I mean, I think it's outrageous. There was a grand jury indictment. They believe that he should be charged and go to trial. And moreover, what I think is crazy, motions for acquittals are ha happen almost regularly, routinely. This judge could have reserved after the defense rested and then granted it. Why not let the defense go on, maybe even cross-examine the defendant, let the prosecution at least hear what the defendant have to had to say if he well, was going on. But they didn't, the judge didn't allow it. The judge cut that trial uh, it undercut it, did not allow it to happen, and that victim, we will never know what happened. Justice will never. I'm not even sure served. what defense, if any, the, the defense was going to put on. Uh, but, but they they didn't, we, we never got to that point is what you're saying. And that's the whole key. Um, Gabe Watson gave his ex- Guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, which is such, so much higher a burden from an evidentiary point of view. Okay, Vicki Ziegler, what do you think of that idea? Yeah, I mean, they possibly could do it, whether it's going to be uh, victorious or not is another thing, and probably an uphill battle, but they can also look into the judge. They can see if he did anything untoward, unethical during this litigation, during this trial, if there was a bias, because at this point, the criminal case is done. There is no right to appeal. That's the best they're going to do with respect to this judge. Well. Our hearts go out to the family of Tina Watson. Thank you, Chrissy and Shaylee, for joining us. We're going to stay on top of this story. We know you want justice, and so do we. All right. Did